Hello and welcome back. Right, uh, in this tutorial we will be going over retopodrizing this gun, um, try and drop the poly count down a lot more. So, uh, yeah, the reason why I kind of did all this crazy stuff last time was so when we end up baking the AO and the normal maps and stuff like that, and I want to have the high poly and the low poly um, able to merge over and without having issues of um, the AO and normal map um, conflicting with certain objects so yeah so first thing first I'm going to pretty much duplicate this and move it over um, you can pick what one you want to make high or low poly um, so pretty much I'm going to basically hide that and work off this one um, going to make sure I turn Screen keys on so you guys can see the buttons I'm hitting. Oh, alright. So first thing first, um, we want to get rid of a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to pretty much do a loop selection here and just grow that out like so. And actually, you know what? It'd probably be easier if I do a loop selection here and here delete them and then just basically select this up delete that um, and I can get this up as well get rid of that and same on this side Where is it? Oh. I'm holding down Alt and I'm doing loop selection along that. I didn't notice it isn't coming up and on the bottom. So, oh. Okay, and I know. Oh. Sorry, um, my keyboard was in the wrong set on the wrong setting. So yeah, to put it back to English. So there. Uh, we delete this one that's up over here as well right so now we got this um, basically what I'm wanting to do is pretty much fill this up in so I do grid fill okay that worked nicely um, and I select along here and yeah. Do the same on the other side. Let's hit F to bridge it. Like so. Let's select that um, edge loop there. Control F and grid fill. Alright, cool. Now we can actually get rid of this stuff as well by hit, um, selecting it and hitting Control X. Like so. Um, and. I'm wondering if we could get rid of this area. Maybe we could try, but I'm going to leave it for now. Um, get, I'm going to hit Control X and get rid of that loop cut in there. And this loop cut, as that is needed. Don't need this loop cut here. Oh. Um, yeah, we don't need that loop cut. Oh, Z and X is too close together. Right, let it get rid of that, like so. And basically, get rid of these. I'm going to leave that one there, so when this part rotate, rotates, you're going to not get a, um, a hole back there, basically. Right, 
Alright. And, um... Uh... Alright. So, basically, what I'm going to do is... Go and select this stuff here. Hit L. Like so. I'm going to hide that. Um, again, hit L on this and this, and it's basically what I'm going to do is scale them out along the Y. Okay, that doesn't work. I need to put this on midpoint, I believe. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Uh, do it scale it out like so, and we're going to hide hide them as well. And we don't want any of this stuff here, so. Make sure you have it all selected. Uh, I'm go into wireframe mode. Make sure I can select this side back here. Uh, get rid of that. Again, unhide. Now, okay. We got this. Um, you're going to basically move these in a little bit as well. So just snap it in like so. We don't want that part, them parts sticking out. And do the same with the other side. Okay, um, can get the loop cut in here and get rid of that, like so. Go and actually remove these support loops as well. Uh, it mess up the shading, but we aren't worried because the normal map will um, fix that pretty much. And we don't need this loop cut down here, so we do get rid of that as well. Is this actually that uh, isn't adding anything and yeah, we did get rid of that as well. Weapons of uh, oh, I just added these back. Um but got rid of them again. Right, we've got some faces here what can be deleted. Like so. This can be deleted as well. I don't need these faces. Um, this up as well. All this. Like so. Um, going to select this and this and basically hide it. Same for this side. Just for now. Um, this loop cut here isn't actually doing any benefit for us, so we can get rid of that. Um, I'm going to hide that again. We've got some faces here that we can delete. Oh, and look, we've got someone inside here as well. So we'll get rid of these, like so. Nice. Um, I think we got some support loops in here, what we don't need. 
No, we actually need that. But these. We don't need it, it's only affecting the shading and not the shape, I believe. Okay, if affecting the shape, I will leave it there. Um, Hide that so for now. Um, yeah, select this, hide it. Um, let's see what's going on here. Is that that's actually part of the handle and not the grip? Okay, I'm happy with. I'll just bring that stuff back. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna select this and hide that up like so. Okay. Uh, this sap here can be deleted. Like so. Okay. All right, um, let's loop cat going along around here and be delete um, get gotten rid of. Yep. Gonna unhide that a sec. And one thing I should have done before duplicating it was we've got this plugin called Meshlint, and I'm going to just run that quickly. Um, I've got triangles. I'm not worried about the triangles. No engons, brilliant. Um, non manifold elements. I'm not worried as um, this is intended for a game, and it isn't translucent or made for 3D model, uh, 3D printing. Sorry. So. The topology is good enough for what I'm needing it for. So that's cool. Um, now, alright, um, just trying to work out what we can do. It's trying to f visualize like when that goes back. Oh, that's what we're going to be seeing in here. So basically. So basically, you're going to want to add a bridge along here and from here to here. And all, all I'm going to do with this is make it black completely black um, so we was at not um I think it is 19,000 19 yeah 19,000 I believe triangles and now we are at well wow, uh, we are at 5,000 triangles uh, so basically I'm going to unhide our high poly over here. Um, I'm going to quickly name them. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do HP for high poly and um, LP for low poly. Uh, so, as you can see here, we are at, um, oh well, wow, okay, we are at 20,000 triangles, um, about 10,000 faces. And over here we have 5,000 um, triangles and uh, almost 3,000 um, faces, so that's a l lot better. You know, um, definitely with how game engines are today, it's like, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much low poly um, for game engines. Uh, you could carry on at, uh, removing... Um, some stuff as well, like we might be able to get right away with that, but I don't know. Um, there's a, some areas I don't really want to get rid of. Um, can get rid of this stuff though, because this was only meant to help with the shading. So that bevel we added earlier. Like if you remember, so we just get rid of that. Um, actually I'm going to undo that. Um, and yeah, that's that like as well. Oh. Uh, hang on. Um, so basically, I'm going to start from here. Okay, that, got that one, and here. Oh. Like so. Um, and now it will split up from here, and I believe it will be around here as well. So I'm going to get rid of that and see how that. Goes. Um, go and undo that. Get rid of it. No. Um, okay. So go and get rid of this one. As I oh, as I know, this one wasn't having issue. It was a one to get rid of one in the middle of them loop cuts. So it wasn't. It wasn't having too much. Of a problem. And that uh, dropped it down a bit more. Um, I think that might have just added a end one. I'm going to double check. Yes. That's the end right. So basically, I'm going to turn this into a triangle. Like so. Um, Select on this for now, getting rid of that, and going to select this, hide that, and um, we've got some more ingons now. I've made some more ingons here, but we're going to turn them into triangles as well. And that should be fine. Okay, yep, we're not getting any ingons. And hide that. Um, we can actually delete some stuff here as well. Um, gonna quickly have a look what how this will impact it. 
Okay, I'm alright with that. How about this if we get rid of that? No, too far. Um we can actually get rid of this, I believe. Uh, no, no, I'm going to leave it. I'm um, going to select a edge here and skip. So you just do a pattern here. Um, select one, mix one, select one, mix one, and we can just get rid of them. Um, but that isn't actually really affecting it much. It's affecting the amount of faces. Um, it's not affecting the vertex count. I'm going to leave it. I don't think it's actually benefiting in any way. Um, okay, so basically, I'm going to turn this off. And what we could do, what would be better, is actually um, I'm going to select these like so, and then get rid of them. Um, and now what I'm going to do is duplicate this. Actually, no, I can actually. Uh, select the edge around here. Now I think that should work. And I should able to hit V and I'm hit zero and enter. So it don't go anywhere. Okay, cool. That completely separated it. Um, I'm going to extrude that in slightly and I'm going to select this and hide it for now and I'm going to select these along here turn on our, oh, sorry, turn on our welding option things that thing down here and it's go that uh, um, you know what I'm going to snap it to be easier snap it there and select that edge loop and control X Nope, okay, it isn't getting rid of it, so I'm just going to... Okay. What should be... Hmm. It's not quite working as I was hoping. Okay, so basically I'm going to... What I'm going to do now is just get rid of all this. Select them faces and delete it. And we'll just fill it in now. Like so. Like so. Oh. How have we got ingons? What are you going on about? Um. Okay. We've got a couple of vertexes here, and we get rid of them. Uh, we got rid of one ingon. Oh. So it's saying there's another end on here. Okay, I'm not sure why that is playing up as it was. But we're going to bridge that and see. Okay, cool, that fixed that. Now if we unhide this. Uh, go into wireframe mode and basically select that edge loop, control X, X okay, that isn't going to work. So I'm basically going to delete this extruded part, like so. Uh, okay. Oh, that, that definitely helped. Now got a loop cut here that isn't actually adding 
anything except from this little part here so I'm not sure if that's Um, yeah, um, probably shouldn't get rid of that. I will get rid of that though. And we don't need that. I need it on this side though. Oop. Don't need that. going to um, select this and okay so that is welded um, may as well select go into vertex mode select this snap it there so that welds up as well and I'm going to hide oh so I'm going to select this and hide that for a second so I can come and have a look isn't actually uh, cool. So I'm going to unhide everything, select everything, W and remove doubles. Uh, uh, there are no doubles to remove. That's cool. Um, oh, we've got a loop cut coming down here. Loop cut coming out there as well. Get rid of that one. Got a loop cut up here. Right. Need that there. How about this one? Need that. Um, Going to try and get rid of that. Probably gonna make it hang on, yep. Um gonna select this stuff and hide it so I can have a look at what's going on here. Right. So basically I'm wanting to delete this part. But we got and do have a problem down here. Okay, hmm. so could make a triangle there. Like so. Uh, we got loop car here and here what we can completely remove. This one isn't adding anything. And to be honest, actually, I'm going to have to remove this for a second. So then we can just remove that. And now we're going to just add a bridge in here. Like so. Right, get our goodies back. Right. Okay, so I'm going to pretty much select this. I'm going to hit, I'm going to undo that and hit V. So this comes up separate, like so. So now I can add, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. Uh, 
I'm gonna hit V because there's way too many loops there. We can just remove all of them pretty much, like so. Um, don't need these loops in here. We can actually get rid of them. I'm not quite sure, but I'm getting rid of them. You know what? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I want that back. And put some loops back here so we can. And where's the middle? There's no middle. Right, and. Add a loop cut here quickly. Get rid of both of these. No, that actually really didn't do any damage. Okay, I'm going to select these a sec and get rid of them. Uh, I'm going to leave them there. Get rid of that. Like so. Get rid of that loop cut. And that one. And that. And I don't know why that's there. I can get rid of that. Alright. I'm going to leave that there. Alright, so I'm, like, I'm going to unhide, I think. Alright, so basically now we're at 5,000 triangles pretty much. Um, what about along here? Yeah, we can remove that loop cut. What about this one? Yeah, we can remove them. Okay, and basically what I'm going to do here as well is select these, turn on snapping, I'm going to extrude them out to here, and what is that along the X, yep, like so. And you know what, actually, I need these ones. X. Uh, turn weld on, so do that again. Like so, All right. So now, when a gun comes back, we should actually have um, a little bit under here. Mm. 
and I'm going to basically select these, scale them along the X like so, move them up and I'm going to bridge one more as well from here to here like so. Uh, select that, control N. What's going on here? I'm going to need to flip the normal. So I'm going to select that. Uh, direction uh, cool that's a bit better I'm um, going to select these as well S said um, move this down like so okay but oh you know what uh, So, what I'm going to do now, do a loop selection along here, and one along here. And basically, to get rid of that, so we don't need that. We might need this up. You know what? I'm going, to I'm going to select all this. Delete that. Select this loop and get rid of that side. Extrude that back along the X, like so, about there. Then bridge this in and fill that. Like so. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Like there. Basically, we don't need all that stuff in here as well. Select uh, that side first. Get rid of these triangles. Select that. Get rid of that. Go into loop. Select this. Extrude this along the X, like so. And basically, go to this. Fill it in. Let's select this and grid fill. Like so. And we can actually get rid of support loops on here as well. And leave like one loop cut there. For a reason. Um, so rules hopefully don't mess up. Won't look too messed up. So I'm going to select all the stuff in here as well. Like so. Delete that. Select all this and take this for now. E, zero enter, just go in, go into vertex mode, uh, um, OM, and merge that cent, 
merge at the same time. Like so. Do the same with that side. Uh, but I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Just hide that. Select this. Delete that. Unhide that. Now, select this. Extrude. Scale it in. OM. Merge at center. So, basically, okay, cool. We're down to about 4,410 triangles. So, that is definitely a big improvement. Um, uh, do we actually need this long here? Uh, quickly have a look at this. Have a look where it connected up to. So I just hide this. That, um, okay. So select that, and this this probably isn't going to work at all. But I want to try that deforming the back here too much. So uh, so I'm 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 happy. I'm actually pretty happy with um, 4,000 triangles. So I'm going to leave it um, here for now. Um, next time, we'll in next part, we'll go over UVM wrapping nets and um, getting the normals and AO and stuff. So yeah, um, until next time, catch you later. Thank you for watching.